We've got a health alert for your family tonight. A drug taken by children, pills many of you and your neighbors have in your medicine cabinet right now, being linked to sudden deaths in some children. We're talking about drugs to treat ADHD. And 24 Hour News Ace Mark Thompson is here with what a new study is showing and why West Michigan is so at risk. Yeah, and Brian and Sue, let me first point out that the authors of this study say that their findings should not cause parents to take their children off of ADHD medication as further studies need to be done. But here's what we've got right now. In a study released in the American Journal of Psychiatry, doctors sought to determine if there was a link between sudden unexplained death in children and the use of stimulants found in ADHD medication like Ritalin and Concerta. Using mortality data compiled from 1985 to 1996, the study focused on 564 cases of sudden unexplained death in children ages 7 to 19. Out of those deaths, researchers determined that 10 of those children were using an ADHD stimulant. That's compared to only two children in the control group, which was children who died in motor vehicle accidents. The study, in conclusion, provides support of a possible link between the use of stimulants found in ADHD drugs like Ritalin and sudden unexplained death in children. Now, 24 Hour News 8 also obtained a breakdown of Michigan's prescription drug usage, which is particularly high. From 2007 to 2008, Michigan reported a 44% increase in prescriptions written for Ritalin SR at 30 milligrams. Now, I also want to point out that uh, Adderall was not a part of this study. Many in the medical community say, while this is not a definitive study, it may spark further discussion about having children tested for heart problems before being prescribed with an ADHD medication mm -hmm. uh, such as Ritalin. So, uh, no cause for Im immediate alarm, but we. We definitely want to, it's the first time that a study has come out like this, that making any link at all to this sudden right. unexplained death. They want to find out for sure if yeah. there's some sort of link there. No doubt. A lot more stuff. questions. We'll be talking with uh, a live with a guest in a few minutes, too, more about this. Yeah. Okay. Mark, Thanks, thank Mark. We're going to take this moment to get back to that new study released in the American Journal of Psychiatry showing a possible link to sudden unexplained death in children and the use of stimulants found in ADHD drugs like Ritalin. My colleague Sue Shaw at the Live Desk with more on that study. Sue? Well, Brian, joining me here in the newsroom, Gabe Griffin, a psychologist with Pediatric Psychologists of West Michigan, to talk a little bit more about this study. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, what do you think about this study so far when you've heard about it? Well, I, I, as I said, I think it's just a, a very good starting point in terms yeah. of discussion for the fact that there are some risks that are always associated with stimulant medication. Um, certainly, for the most part, uh, I, as the study kind of uh, shows, it's, uh, this is still a very rare type of occurrence, but it is still something that seems to be uh, enough of a risk that I think it's enough for people to warrant further re research. And parents certainly concerned yes. about this. Um, yes. What is your advice to parents, I guess? Should, there, should they take their kids off of this? Should they get more testing done? What, it, what should they do? Well, I think that right now, again, it's really important to highlight that it's rare. So I don't think that it's something that uh, parents should be overly concerned about. Um, something I think t certainly to talk about and to certainly talk about with their physician. Um, it certainly I don't think it's, it's worth um, taking children off of medicine, particularly medicine that is helping them. Um, but at the same time, it may be something for kids who are newly getting onto these drugs, mm -hmm. a consideration to at least check more thoroughly for heart types of problems. Right. Are there any criticisms that you know of with this study, um, like the methods used perhaps? Well, it, it, it certainly has... Um, a relatively uh, limited type of, of uh, sample size. Mm -hmm. um, it's not something that, um, I mean, we're talking about something that um, is comparative and relatively, again, very rare, only 10 out of 560-some uh, participants. That, and this may also start new studies. I mean, now yes. that this has come out, I would imagine that more studies are going to come out of this one. I think that's the most important thing about the study is that it hopefully will spur more research in this area. I wonder, um, your advice to parents then before we let you go, just, I guess, analyze where they're at right now, um, but keep in mind that this is still a rare occurrence. Yes, I think, it, again, it's something to keep in mind, maybe even something to talk about with physicians, particularly yep. if they have a, fis a family history of cardiac problems, but uh, probably not something to be overly worried about at this point. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Gabe Griffin, we appreciate your time. You're welcome.